to convince them, you got to tell them a little bit what you think they know. And look, I'm not about to go back and forth you. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Friends on FaceTime. Um, next thing I see <laughs> before y'all brought me in this courtroom, in the past, what's the truth? Besides the little pieces that I tried to finish the police with to get off of me. So when you were speaking with Investigator River Rito in this October 2021 interview, are you saying that nothing you said in here was true? Uh, I ain't said it. You, see, you trying to make it seem like I'm saying the whole interview is not true. What I'm saying is to convince them, you got to tell them a little bit what you think they know. And look, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I mean, like. So I'm asking you a very specific question. In the October 2021 interview, are you saying that you could tell investigator Vivariso what she wanted to hear as well? I don't recall. Now, during the course of this interview, um, did you speak with investigator Vivariso about Quay? I don't recall. Okay. And I want to show you. Permission to approach on you may. I'm going to show you what's in the market state exhibit 398Y. Do you recognize uh, who's in Stacey's exhibit 398Y? Do you recognize the people in that picture? Yes. Okay. Who is in that picture? Me and Quay. Okay. Do you recognize the other individual? I can't see a face. Okay. Do you recognize the Instagram name Stunna underscore six zero? Uh. I don't keep up people Instagram. Okay. Do you know that to be another Nard Tinquarius Mender? I know another Nard. Did you know him to have an Instagram name of Stunna? I don't, I don't keep up with people's social media. Okay. And, and looking at 398Y, can you tell that other person is Nard, the other Nard that you know? Yeah. Yes, that's him? I don't know. You're right. This time I say that Tinder Stacey's in 398 Y is evidence. Now, back in 2021 or 2020, did you have the Instagram name of 725 underscore Woody? That what it looked like. So is that your Instagram handle? Uh-huh. I had so many Instagram pages. Okay. Let me ask you this. If you had so many, is your birthday July 25th? For sure. And they call you Woody, correct? They call me who? Woody. Woody. Who? I can't hear you. Woody. Okay. Is that correct? Yeah. He, right. he know he playing with Is this a picture that you posted on your Instagram page? What you mean? Is that a post that you made on your Instagram page? The 725 Woody. God bless you. Bless you. Uh, what you say? Is this that picture that is posted that says 725? I, 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 don't re I don't remember posting this picture. Okay. Do you remember taking a picture like this? You say T? Do you remember taking a picture with like this? Oh, yeah. I, took, I, I remember this picture. Okay. And in this picture, who's all in the picture? You just said Quay and Art. Okay. But the picture wasn't on the screen, so... Is Quay the person with the green sweatshirt around his waist? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes for the record? Yes. Okay. And I'm are sorry. you the one person in the middle with the pink hoodie? And Noah with the blue. Okay, thank you. And if I want to go down. And does the caption say three of a kind? And it tags Quay and it tags Stunner with a green heart emoji and a gray snake. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Okay. And it says, I am the streets out now on all platforms. Does that say that? I guess. Okay. What is I am the streets? Yeah. Ask who, who made the caption. Isn't that you who made the caption? No, I just told you that. I remember the picture, but I don't, I didn't post it. <laughs> I don't know nothing about. 
So seven twenty five underscore Woody. I also have my like other people post on my page, my manager. Did you have a song or an album cut out called I Am? I said other people had posted on on my page, so they could have posted it. And I'm asking you, have you had an album or something called I Am the Streets? Um. Yeah. All right, thank you. Is this over? Is it over? Now, oh, no, in no. this interview, did you ever talk to Investigator Riverito about conversations you had with Thug about um, that the police were going to be watching him? I don't recall. You said, you said, I had, can you say that again? Sure. Oh, come on. Back in 2021, did you ever have conversations with Thug about the police telling Thug that the police were going to get him? So you saying in 2021, I told Thug that the police were going to get him? Do you recall ever having any conversations with Thug saying that the police were going to get him? I thought you said I was concerned about him killing me. That's not my question. My question. I'm just you. saying, if I was, if I'm concerned about him kidding me from 2015, why would I be around him in 2021? So is your testimony today that you don't recall having any conversations with Thug about the police wanting to get him? No, my, my testimony today is that when investigators get to me, I'm trying to convince them that I'm around him and that I can tell them stuff that make them think that I'm, I'm right there and I know what I'm talking about. There's proof of, like I said, me making things up. Okay. So do you recall in the same October 2021 interview telling Investigator Viverito, I go around the, I hear him talk stupid. I tell them, I tell him they're going to get you. Investigator Viverito says, you said what? You said, I told them they're going to get you. She said, who, thug? You said, yeah, I told him. Investigator per Viverito says, like the police? And you said, yeah, I said they're going to get you. I said, all that shit you're doing, they're going to get you. And what does he say? He says, shit, like I know. And investigator Viverito asked, so you don't care? And you said, no, he don't. Do you recall having that conversation with investigator Viverito? I probably did tell her that, but I was just, I was just stating to you so that you can see that you know, well, like I was been telling you, like, I'm just making it up as I go. Okay. Thank you, Donna, for the super chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bring on steel. Absolutely. And that did you also go and tell, tell Vasquez Riverito that you told Thug, I said, you put all this stuff in your songs. They're going to be watching you for five, six, seven years. I told them that they're going to be watching you. I haven't had no dealings with the once I got the feds. So when they got me again, back to the routine, put the blame on the, y'all let me go. And you keep saying you put the blame on the, what blame did you put on the? <laughs> Whatever con convinced the police that, that let me go that day. They, they come look for me tomorrow. I don't care. As long as I get away that day, that's all that matters. So they're going to sit here and keep thinking they're going to get some type of information out of me. Okay. I'm a spin. Did you realize that all your interviews, you were the person who brings up Thug first? Because he's a bigger fish than me. Oops. Now, do you specifically remember what it is that you would make up on Thug? Whatever came up, whatever the police could say, they could have said breaking their cars. Whatever, whatever they wanted, not, not saying breaking their cars, but whatever to convince them that I helped them for them to let me go, I would have said it. So in that case, why didn't you tell the police that Thug killed Nut? Because the police weren't going to go for that. You got you to gotta be more specific. You got to be realer than that. You got to convince them. You got to make them feel like you really telling they know this man if you like to kill nobody that would have been stupid for me to go in there and say thug kill him okay what you said that you never talked to thug after you left the feds did you ever talk with dolly no 
Stay home? What you mean? To my, when I got out? Yes. Oh. Uh, oh. I can't recall. I don't. I can't Thank recall. You so much, Hightower family. Thank you very but much. I never talked to Doug after I got the feds. Do you remember telling Detective Viverito that you actually saw Thug in the club once you got out of the feds? I told you again, they got me. I know who they want, who I, who they are though. So I'm real. She's struggling. She's struggling. Now, you're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Ooh. She losing. In 2021, she losing were free. you, did you feel guilty about the fact that you had previously told on Thug back in 2015? If I told on him back in 2015, he would have been in jail if he did anything I said he did. Okay. Do you recall telling Investigator Viverito that the real reason you don't like going around thugs because you felt guilty that he that you had snitched on him? Uh, if you know anything about me, I don't I don't care for real life. In real life, I don't be caring about none. I, I act like I do, but I really don't. Is it true that in the same October interview, emotional damage, you said to Detective Viver, excuse me, Viverito, I'm not going to talk at the jail at all because I'm telling you my life is on the line. You don't understand how, how it make me feel when I go around. The truth, when I go around, dude, I know what I done done. So I don't want to be around him because of guilt. That's why I don't want to be around because I'd be afraid. I can't look a nigga in the eye because I'd be like, damn, this nigga know. That's why I'm going around. I ain't want to tell y'all that. That's why I can't sleep at night because I know him. I know what I done. I know the information that I gave. Y'all sit here and play like this shit ain't valuable. All y'all want. I told y'all like I know. Okay, what you asking me? You asked me, did I say that? I'm asking you, did you feel, yes, one, did you tell the detective that? Yeah, I tell them, I told you, I got to convince them, especially Rito. She swore she know everything. So I was having fun spinning her. Okay. But you told her that's because. I also told her that um, those were to do something to, to somebody that same day. And then they took me to jail and nothing happened that day. So clearly, if you take anything I say, you, I'm done. Right. That was good. That's fine. Just stop talking. Now, in 2022, did you go end up going back to prison? Say that again. In 2022, did you end up going back to prison? I went. I went to state prison. I don't know when though. Okay. And while you were in state prison, did you talk to Little D from Mechanicsville on the phone? I don't. I don't know. I can't. Uh, Come on. I can't recall. Do you recall ever talking to him at all? Why I probably have. I, I just, I just can't say. Yeah, I don't keep up with who I talk to uh, on the jail call. I probably did. I bored or something. I don't know. Flag on each and every one of y'all. Isn't it true that in April 2022, did you call Little D and told him that you were aware that a Rico? 43 person Rico case was was coming down. I probably did. Ain't no telling. And that because the Rico was coming down, that you all need to get off of IG, get off of Instagram. This I love Ladi to death. So if I'm if, if I'm plotting, I'm I'm gonna get Ladi to plot along with me. So I'm gonna go to Ladi, so Ladi can be my backup. And as it relates to um, Little D. Do you recall him having an Instagram name of Scarface? Uh, shit, yeah. I guess, yep. Yeah. Do you recall? Oh, excuse me, excuse me for cussing. Do you recall um, DMing him that they were trying to indict you all on that body? You said I didn't only do that? Yes. I don't know. I don't recall me DMing him that. How much you 
I'm going to show you why this totally wasn't marked as they said 381. Why? Again, your Instagram name was the 725 underscore Woody. What happened? Your Instagram name. Again, it was 725 underscore Woody. A lot of people had my Instagram. I ain't seen that message. Okay. Do you see what that message says? No, nah, I just heard you what you said. Okay. Are you able to read what's on that page? That circle would have read. I heard what you just said to say it. Do you recall sending that to him? Can you tell me what the date is? Sure. On October 6, 2021. Was that in jail? I don't know. Were you in jail? Did I just ask you? I don't I know that you got arrested on October 27, 2021. So before that, before getting arrested on October 27th, were you in custody at all prior to that? So this was before I went to jail? Yes. So why would I deal him? Why would I message him and say that? First, answer the question: Is that your Instagram name? Listen, seven twenty five underscore Woody. I would not do nothing so stupid like that. I would not message nobody saying that. Why would I say that? Okay, so you don't recognize that as your Instagram name? I don't miss. I don't recognize me DM and no little D talking about some date. No. I know how the police operate. Why would I why would I do that? Why did you think that you and D were going to get indicted for Yes. <clears throat> Speak into your mic if you don't mind. To my understanding, this exhibit is not in evidence. That's correct. And I'm going to object to the publishing of this exhibit through. I don't think she's going to publish it. You don't intend to publish it, do you? Because it's not in evidence. Okay. And we're almost. I would just further my objection, Your Honor, that it, <clears throat> it assumes facts that are not in evidence. Your Honor, I'm going to move on from that last question. All right. Question. Now, you said that everything you told the police, you made it all up. When did you make it all up? You keep saying everything. I keep telling you, like, I, I know how to piece stuff together real good. The stuff you made up, whatever parts you said you made up, when did you make it all up? As I go. Okay. Did you make it up with anyone else? I don't recall. I look at me like that. Okay. Mr. Copeland, isn't it true that you are well, you're supposed to be testifying under an immunity agreement? Um to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't have a clue about none of this stuff. I told y'all from the start, y'all to put me in here. Like I don't comprehend. I don't told y'all that time after time. I don't know what the immunity agreement is. I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue. Like, I'm up under so much pressure. Like, man, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to answer y'all questions because I don't know what type. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to be as truthful as possible. And y'all keep going back into the past. Like, I, and I told y'all when I was talking to y'all in the back, man, I have lied. And y'all don't put me up on here telling me that I got to be truthful when I'm telling y'all. Man, I don't know. Man, I, I, I'm afraid for my life. I, Every time y'all call me here, I think y'all have to take my life, take my freedom. And, 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 and at this point, I can't call on nobody for help. I don't know what's going on. Were you told before you testified that anything you testified to in the courtroom could not be used against you? Can you say that again? Before you took the stand, were you told that anything that you testified to in court could not be used against you? What you mean? Before you took the stand, were you told by myself, Ms. Love, anyone sitting at this table 
that anything you testify to cannot be used against you. Anything I testify to can't be used against me? Yes. Say Glanville. Say Glanville. Just for fun. Yeah, I heard. I heard. I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, matter of fact, last week, didn't you ask the judge? You turned around and you asked, sir, nothing I said could be used against me, right? And you oh, oh okay. Okay. And is it true that under this immunity agreement, you were told that you could be charged with perjury? You say I could be charged with who? Perjury. I don't even know what perjury is. Okay. Were you told also in this immunity agreement that you could be charged if you committed false swearing? I was told, I asked specifically so I can understand. I asked you, I said, uh, come on. What, what, what happened with y'all locking me up? Y'all told me two things I go to jail for. If I plead the fifth and if I say that I had uh, committed a crime that I didn't do. Okay. So I don't know what perjury means. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm afraid for my life. And I told y'all that. I told it to my wow. lawyer. I tell it to the judge. I tell it to everybody. Y'all got me up here. I don't know what's going on. And like I said, I, from, for the crimes that y'all charged me with, I went to jail. I did all my time for it. Y'all still bring me in here. I feel like I'm. I'm still in, I'm almost, I'm, in, I'm on trial at this point. I'm going to jail because I don't, I don't know. Y'all got me up here asking me questions. I don't know how to answer these questions. Y'all want me to be a witness to something I don't know nothing about. Isn't true that even with the immunity agreement, you did not want to testify? Can you explain it? Sure. Even when you were given immunity, you did not want to testify. If, no, I, and I still don't want to testify. And isn't it true that you feel that you were pressured by the state to testify? I feel like I, I was pressed by both sides, the state and the defense. Okay. And is it true that you told me in front of these jurors a couple of weeks ago you felt pressured to testify? And I still, right now, I, I feel pressured to testify. Because it's not, it's not like I'm up here to be, to, to be, it's not, I can't sit here and tell y'all, I can't sit here and tell y'all nothing. I don't, I don't, I don't know what y'all want me, I don't know what y'all looking for. I didn't, I didn't see nobody kill nobody. I didn't see nobody rob nobody. I didn't see none of these boys do anything. I, I did some stupid things. I got caught for the stupid things that I was doing. And I, I just went from there. Like, I didn't. Bring up the and then y'all got me up here. And I told y'all before y'all put me up here, y'all came talk to me on like a Tuesday or something. And it, you came talk to me in the streets. And I told you, like, I lied. And I told you that. And then y'all still brought me in here. Isn't it true that you did not want to testify because you don't want to be deal with the reality of being labeled a snitch? Um, uh, Miss 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 Hilton, I was being labeled a snitch way before I had to come to trial when y'all linked that video out to the social media. Yeah. So the world look at me as a snitch no matter what goes on to this day. But me coming here, like I have put my faith in God's hands. And oh. I come here and I let it be known. I guess got no choice but to be letting known to y'all now that I have told y'all time after time that I done lied. And the snitch is someone who actually tells the truth, correct? This is like, I mean, like, I feel like I got the world on my back. Now you ask me these questions, like, I don't know, man. Like, y'all draining me. I mean, like, for real. It's a different if I sat here and seen somebody commit a crime, and then I saw them with my own eyes do this, and then I get in here and say, I didn't see them do that. Y'all want me to sit here and say, oh, uh, the, the the stories that I have put on other people's, and and I didn't like I I, I would not do that like it, and, and and Lord knows I want to be with my family and my kids, but if y'all gonna put me back in jail because I won't I won't sit right here and tell y'all what y'all believe to be whatever y'all oh, want wow. me to say like I just, I mean I don't want to go to jail, but man at this point I don't man y'all y'all got me man I don't know man I can't sleep at night like I'm I wow. tell you y'all hold me in jail don't feed me don't give me water like if I I just don't know like. Every time I walk in this door, I, I just, I pray and hope I get, walk back out this door. I just want to be left alone. I paid for my punishment. And I don't told y'all for y'all put me right here in this seat. Time after time, I told Judge Glanville in his office. Yes! I don't told everybody. I can tell. Come on. And I'm telling you to your face. I know you don't have anything to do with you. You doing your job. But I'm, I'm, I've been nice to you and I've been telling you that you, you, you can't her. put me up here and, and, and I told you, I done made it up. Okay. It's a difference if I seen one of these guys actually do something and you ask me, did they do it? You, if you ask me, did they do something that I actually saw them do it? And I would tell you, yeah, I saw him do that. Yeah, I was with him when he did that. But this is not the case. Okay. And you just told police what the Mickey I told you, correct? I told the police 
anything to get them off of me. I was going through a phrase. People were shooting at me while I had my kid. And Come on. my only priority was by any means necessary to protect them with my whole fucking life. Ooh, come on, come on. I get a minute because they drive me crazy. Yeah, take it's a minute. Take it's a breath. Wow. Me no, stay me. here. Come here. Just stay here. Stay, stay here. on the stem. Take some breaths. Calm down. And once he oh. finishes his breath, Your Honor, state, um, we conclude our questioning, Your Honor. Finally! I told well, you. I told y'all four o'clock. No. Okay. I told y'all. <laughs> Judge, can I go home? Right. No, you... you it may be that some of the defense attorneys or all of them might have questions for you as well. So we're not quite finished yet. Uh, so take a minute. Block. Wow, he ended on a... Come on, Ray, don't really get it over with. All right. He done on a burner. He's got questions for Mr. Copeland. Brian Steele, let's get at it, sir. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's go. I want to talk with you about um, verification or corroboration of statements made to law enforcement by you that we listen to on recordings, okay? And by verification, I mean something that, um, besides your word, it supports what you say, okay? Do you understand what I'm asking you? Come on, work with them, Woody. Well, he hasn't asked you anything yet. Do you understand what he's saying to you? I don't understand. No, you understand. Maybe just ask him a question. So the district attorney, Hilton, started to talk with you about what she said, verification of what you said to the police. So I want to talk to you about verification or lack thereof, okay? If you don't understand anything, just tell me you don't understand. The first one that Ms. Hilton said is that Jeffrey rented a infinity vehicle. Remember that? Yes or no? I don't recall. Do you remember she put up for you state's exhibit number 334Y? It said Hertz on it. You were, you were talking about some of the words on the exhibit behind you. Do you remember that? I don't recall. Oh, okay. Do you remember getting beaten in Club Crucial on the early morning hours of Tuesday, January 6th of 2015? I didn't get beat. Do you remember having uh, your lip cut open, a uh, knot on the no, top it, of your head? No, I didn't have I just had a knot on my face. And your eyes swollen, you remember that? Do you remember that? Yeah, let's take it. Let's 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 end. Yes or no? I don't recall. If that's on the early morning hours of January 6th, 2015, do you remember going to Jeffrey Williams? I don't remember next day? nothing from 2015. Well, let me finish my question. Do you remember going to Jeffrey Williams the next day and explaining that you got beaten at Club Crucial? And you needed a car because you didn't want to drive around in the car that you typically drive around because you didn't want to be noticed in the area. Do you remember telling him that? I don't recall. Do you remember saying to All right, hang on a second. When there's an objection on the floor, let me hear the objection and make a ruling on it, all right? Before you ask the next question, assume he's moved on, so we're not going to worry about that one. Go ahead. Do you remember saying to Jeffrey Williams that you needed a car and he was driving, he had a Corvette vehicle? A rental car from Hertz. Do you remember that? No, I recall. Do you remember realizing that a Corvette has two seats and you have a child with a car seat as well as your child's mother, Deshaun, at that time, and you needed a bigger car? I'm asking questions to see whether what he remembers this about? conversation. Okay. S sustained that, 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 that is not a fact in evidence at this point. You the can question. Ask him if it's happened. So you may ask that question. That's my question. Do you remember that? Hmm. Do you remember saying that to Jeffrey? Saying what? That you needed, you couldn't use a Corvette. He had a rental Corvette 
you needed a bigger car because the Corvette's a two-seater. I remember that. Do you remember Jeffrey saying, sure? Objection, Your Honor. That's a suit of bedrock evidence and self-quotation. What is... Sustained. Do you remember going to Hertz rental car at approximately 8 o'clock at night on January 7th of 2015 so that Jeffrey could get you a rental car, an infinity rental car? Objection. He can ask whether he remembers that or not. I don't remember. Do you remember telling this jury on direct examination weeks ago that that rental car, that Infinity, was in your care. I said it. Yeah. Do you remember saying that? No. Nope. Do you remember driving that Infinity rental car from the time it was picked up from the Hertz rental car on January 7, 2015, until it was returned on January 12, 2015? Mm hmm. Do you remember driving that Hertz rental car that we're talking about mm -hmm. from the time it was picked up on January 7, 2015 and having control of it until it was returned on January 12, 2015? I remember 2015. Do you remember driving with Mr. Zachary? Little D. Do you remember driving with Mr. Zachary and striking cones on the side of the road on the highway and damaging the infinity rental car do you remember doing that no recall do you remember giving that what infinity rental car to other people on the night of january 10th 2015 I can't remember 2015. Well, let me ask you this way. Do you deny having that Infinity rental car January 7th of 2015? What do you mean? Did you have that car in and around your person? I gave the car to three. Okay. You told the jury that you gave that car to your friend and threat is Mr. Turner. You know his last thing? True? Yes? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll take the uh-huh for the court report as a yes. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. And you told the jury you gave the car to Mr. Turner the day of the killing of Donovan Thomas. From that morning to that night. Do you know what I'm talking about? January 10th, 2004. I didn't, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. But that's what you said. Out of frustration. All right. Now, you also had that rental car, not only when you gave it to Mr. Turner, your friend, but you had that rental car before you gave it to Mr. Turner, obviously, right? Otherwise, you couldn't give it to him. I don't recall. And you had the rental car after you gave it to Mr. Turner, wow. right? I don't recall. All right. Let me ask you this. Getting to the fact that the state showed you that on State's Exhibit 334Y that Jeffrey rented the Infinity from Hertz, you were there, right? I can't remember. That has nothing to do at the time of this killing, does it? That's three days before, right? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. And what you're telling the jury, or what the state wants you, I believe, to tell the jury, is that Jeffrey Williams rented a car. Be quiet, Hilton. I think it's clear. He ready to run over. Pre ask your question. Okay. Jeffrey Williams, therefore, rents a car in his own name that's going to be used in the killing of Donovan Thomas. That's what you're telling the jury. Objection. Rephrase your question. The rental car that's used to kill Donovan Thomas, 
Are you telling the jury that Jeffrey Williams rented a car in his own name? I don't know what car was used to kill him. Okay. All right. So what corroborates for the killing of Donovan Thomas on January 10th, 2015? Corroborates means supports or verifies. What corroborates the fact that Jeffrey Williams rented that car with you three days earlier? Objection is improper. I don't know. He can't. It's an improper question. Be quiet. I'm asking. They, I, I think maybe it calls for speculation. Can you rephrase it? Sure. The district attorney started questioning you about the Hertz rental car on January 7, 2015, talking about verification of what you said to the police. I'm asking you, how does it verify anything you told the police that Jeffrey Williams was involved in the killing of Donovan Thomas, the fact that he rented that car for you three days before? Objection, compound speculation. Sustained. Does that, the fact that Jeffrey did a favor for you, does that verify anything about the killing of Donovan Thomas that Jeffrey Williams was involved? Objection, some of the things I've Overruled on that basis, but it's not a proper question. Ask can, a different question. Can you tell the jury how Jeffrey Williams doing you a favor three days before in that vehicle, the Infinity vehicle from Hertz? How does that put Jeffrey Williams involved in the killing of Donovan Thomas? Objection, speculation. They asked this question to verify it. Okay, that's that's that question overruled on that basis. Right. How does that support your statement to the police? Huh? How does that corroborate or verify your statement to the police? What do you mean? That Jeffrey was involved in anything to do with the killing of Mr. Thomas. The police did it. Okay. Number two. You were asked by the district attorney specifically a little while ago, that Jeffrey was in, that you told the police that Jeffrey, on, Jan, on June 10th, 2015, you told the police that Jeffrey was in the infinity at the Texaco gas station. Remember that question? I didn't tell the police did. Right. Do you remember what you told the police? But I told them that, I don't know what I don't told the police. Do you remember telling the police and this is, Your Honor, on State's Exhibit 378YE, June 10, 2015. Interrogation of Mr. Copeland at 255.48 to 256.06. Mr. Copeland remembers saying, just listen to the story. So they seen him. They switched cars at the gas station. Thug, meaning Jeffrey, got in the car with the girl. Thug and I think a little D. You remember saying that? I lied to the police anything. This, this was my, but anytime they questioned me, this was my intention was to get them out for me. So what I don't told them was whatever I said. Okay. Well, I'm going to play with the court's permission, Your Honor. Just for simplicity, I made this JW240N as a nice, and it's really States Exhibit 378YE. It's just easier to find the snippet. And it's from 255.48 to 256.06. It's already in evidence. All right. All right. That's smart. He's using it because it's already in evidence, so he doesn't need to. You might need your uh, earphones if you need them. Can you hang on a second before playing that? Yes, my friend. This is stop. Love is reaching over there telling Hilton that we cooked. Well, what, what kind of sauce do you want to be in? teriyaki, soy, you want some uh, Cajun seasoning? Because we cooked. Steel is cooking us. He is about to get, I, I'm sad to say, he's going to probably get Woody to say that threat killed that man. That's what it's going to end up coming up to. It's, it's coming up to threat killed him. That's where it's coming to, uh, in, in my opinion. But shout out again to Monica. I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. And speaking of did not see it coming, I think the, the dangerous crew just pulled in. Yeah. Love is telling, uh, what you call it? Look, we cooked. This is about to go real south real quick. 
he impeaching the state and they impeach their own witness. This that nobody's gonna be able to trust Woody. Threat is Tay, who passed away just recently here in Atlanta, about two months ago, give or take. And they alluded that Tay might have been very well involved in this, but Woody said he wasn't. Well, now it's going to be problematic. Mr. Copeland, you may need those uh, headphones. Hey, buds. Tell me if you said anything different yes, than please. just listen to the story. So they seen him. They switched cars at the gas station. Thug got in the car with the girl, Thug, and I think Little D. That's what I'm, if I said it wrong, please correct it, okay? I just listen to the story, so. What I said was right. Did you hear that? what I said to the police? Yeah. They burnt. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying that's what you told the police. I said this is what I said to the police. Yes. Okay. okay. I'd like to show you, um, Your Honor, it's already in evidence and um the state is going to help play it because it's it just played it states exhibit number 295 your honor i've asked permission to play it's a texaco gas station tay is also threat thank you and it should be um camera 10 first at 18:41:56 or um, when the when the uh, supposed Bonneville gets to the gas station. May we play your honor? Yep, here we go. Yeah, are you asking the state to do that? They are, yes. Okay, sure. Thank you. Now he pimping he pimping the state. That's messed up, Brian. That's messed up Steele. He's shaking it. <coughs> He's frying and fricasseeing. Mr. Copeland, my question to you is, during this entire video, where do you see Jeffrey Williams anywhere around this gas station getting out switching cars, okay? Man, I have told y'all, I have made this up to the police. Okay. I just watched this video. Well, we're just going to make sure the jurors see it, okay? But if you see him at all, you just let us know, okay? Stop the video. What is that? That's a uh, Bonneville, I think. He's just on the right. Started eighteen forty-one. You see that white car? Hmm. You see the white car that that gentleman just got out of? It's walking towards us on the screen. Okay. Yeah, I told y'all, Woody was not going to be, Brian Steele was not going to be kind to Woody. I knew it. <laughs> the state is winning? Really? Okay, okay. The state is really winning. Your Honor, with the court's permission, I'm just going to play it in double time. If it's too fast for you, Mr. Copeland, just go to the court. Just tell the court, okay? I do believe that that was her, her motive. I think I think you're right, Monica. I, I know not to disagree with you, so it's very possible. <clears throat> what you mean, President? I'm perfect. What you mean? <clears throat> yeah. 
I think that I think yes, I think you're right, little gambler. I think you're very very much right. I don't think the state's winning at all. Like I'm not certain where I don't I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. State is not winning at all. So the car is not white. So we're just sitting here waiting to look and see. Do we see Jeffrey Williams, Young Thug, swapping cars? And apparently it looks like it's a no. What's the polling question, Dixie? What's the polling question? Don't miss it. <clears throat> Remember, the defense doesn't need Woody to be truthful. They just need Woody to be unfaithful that's all they need him to be they don't need woody to be like you know a stand-up person they just need to be able to say he lied and verify like he lied that's what they're that's what they're going for they mix him up in some garlic butter lemon pepper come on oh okay got gotcha. you i like that question thank you so much uh Dixie Doodles, thank you so much. Question loading. It's funny, we're all watching this, but we're not complaining like we were when the state was doing it. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right. Poll question is hot. Poll question is hot. I, I don't see no thug. I don't see no thug. Thug is in the white car, but they said he swapped out. That's what Woody said, at least. He said that they swapped out, so he would need to be out of the car. See, no, no, no thug sighting. What am I doing, Brandon? I'm sorry, man. Thug was at the crib. <laughs> I think they're trying to get as much out of him as possible. They want to end on a crescendo, a high note. <coughs> I 
I don't I don't like it either, but I think that's what Brian Steele's trying to do. He wants to end on a high note. Oh yeah, the judge about to call it in a second, for sure. What kind of sauce you want to be? Oh no, they got that lemon pepper teriyaki nuclear. Absolutely. With a little bit of Parmesan on the side. They cooking them today. He cooking today. I think before the smoke clears, Brian is going to have, would he say that threat is the one that did it and cast all this. Because remember, it's just got to be reasonable doubt. He's going to cast all this doubt on it, and then he's going to go home. They're going to come back tomorrow. It's going to be a mess. They don't even deserve lemon pepper. You know what? They could put anything bagel on them. There you go. Nobody deserves anything bagel. Nobody. Or is it anything or everything bagel, whatever that stuff's called. Nobody should live that wrong. That's like God's judgment on society, on your taste buds. Everything bagel wings. That would be so nasty. Avocado <laughs> toast. Oh, no. Nobody deserves that, man. Oh, and the bad thing is that the defense sat quiet all while they made them watch those videos. So nobody could say anything. So you really, you have nothing to say. So if this went, went on for 40 minutes, they'd have nothing to say. Oh, that's, that's got to hurt them in their soul. That's got to hurt them in, in, the, in the side of their soul. Whole soul. All right, the current moment, 70% of you are saying that the defense is winning. What you mean is coming in at a so twenty, a stout down, twenty-five. Go back a little bit, a little time. Oh, here we go. Mr. Cope, I want you to look at the people walking and changing cars here. Okay. We'll start at um, when that car pulls up. It just got into the screen. So we'll start at nineteen fourteen forty-seven. You see the new car being entered into the uh, screen in a moment. And people exit the car. Tell the jury when you see Jeffrey Williams in either of those cars or anywhere in the parking lot at all the Texaco gas station. I told you I made it up. Yeah, this is this is a wrap. Man, it, it, it's over, man. It's over. They're not going to recover from this today. They they are going to go home with the largest L possible. That was savage. That was savage. 1651, and that car that pulled up last just left. You see that? Yes. Sir. Audible, yes. Just to yes. say out loud, either yes or no, instead of not, okay. if you don't mind. Thank you. 
No Jeffrey Williams, right? No. This is a mess. Give it up. Throwing the towel. Hilton throwing the towel, love. Unless the court says no. You know, we're going to double speed unless the court says otherwise. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay. See, they can't say anything. They, now they, it's 1970, or 40. And it's, uh, we're going to stop camera number 10. Tell the jurors whether you saw any <coughs> reference or image of Jeffrey Williams during that entire clip that we just watched from January 10th, 2015 at the Texaco gas station. Like I told the state, I just told the police anything to get him out of my face. So did you see Jeffrey? Did nobody in here that watched the video didn't see him. I'm going to go with the court's permission. It's already in evidence, Your Honor, same exhibit number. It's a camera number 11, and there becomes an infinity vehicle, or was purported to be an infinity vehicle pull up. Whatever, uh -oh. I heard what you said, so whatever vehicle you think it is, we will start at, um, you get it right before the infinity pulls up, which should be at 11, 19, 16, if you need your. Yeah, this is going to be hard for them to rebut this. Your Honor, we're starting at 11, 19. Oh, that's wrong. I'm saying 11. I counted. 19, 16, 06. All right. Not in double time. And Mr. Copeland, if you can watch here and tell the ladies and gentlemen, jury, if you see anyone who resembles Mr. Jeffrey Williams. And that's the vehicle that just pulled up that we are focusing on. But anywhere you see Jeffrey Williams, if you do, let us know. Yeah, thank the state for sure. Like, thank you for hooking us up. We really do appreciate it. Make sure you say thank you, Brian. See that vehicle moving outside the screen, Mr. Copeland? You see it leave the, the gas station, sir? Yes? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to stop it at 1917.30. And thank you so much. Um, and and I, I heard what you said, Mr. Copeland. You made it clear. You were adding Jeffrey Williams because that's what the police wanted to hear. Is that true? This is what they told me? Because you had an agenda. You wanted to get yourself free. Right? You were in custody, right? Is that true? Right. And in order to get out of custody, go home, you knew the police wanted to hear information that Jeffrey Williams committed crime was a big fish. Remember that? This is what they said. Yeah. The police told you they wanted thug. Remember them telling you that? That's what they said. Before all of this, before all this information about Jeffrey Williams, you remember the police telling you, we want the big fish, we want thug, remember that? Yeah. You remember the police telling you, it wasn't just local police, and that's bad enough, I'm not saying that's not serious, but you had the Atlanta Police Department with you on June, June 10th, 2015, Detective Gaither, gang unit, right? She's right. in the room with you. Detective Dennis, Right? He's in the room with you. Right. He's with the gang unit. Right. I told you. You had Detective Thorpe homicide. Right. With the City of Atlanta Police Department, right? Correct? Right. And you had federal alcohol, tobacco, firearm, explosive Special Agent Cunningham at times with you in that room. Right? Right. And federal agent Cunningham told you that you are an armed career criminal. Remember that? I don't remember that about the interview. Okay. Well, I'm going to play it for you in a moment if we need to. And she told you that you are getting, without parole, you know what parole is? 
Yeah. If you get a sentence, you might get out a little earlier or you may get out earlier on parole. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't no parole in the feds. Exactly. So you do every day, right? Right. And in the federal government, Special Agent Cunningham with the federal authority said she already spoke with the U.S. Attorney's Office about you, right? We'll play. Do you remember her telling you you're getting 15 years without getting out every day to the door as an armed career criminal. Remember that? I don't remember what she said. Plus, you're getting an additional 10 years on top of that for a total of 25 years for two different guns, the gun at the Dunbar Center and the gun in your home on June 10th, 2015. Remember that conversation? I remember she said I was looking at a lot of time. And do you remember she even calculated for you? She asked, how old were you on June 10th, 2015? You said, how old was that? She asked you that. I guess. And she added 25 years to that and said you wouldn't get out until you're 48 years of age. Remember that? I guess. Then Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, and Detective Thorpe explained to you, that's just federal charges. You also have to deal with gang charges. Remember all that? I guess. That means that that could be stacked or run consecutive. Do you, do you not remember this? I don't remember the interviews. And you told them, I don't want to go to jail. I hate jail. Right? I do. Right. And you told them, I'll tell you anything you want to know. I just want to go home. Yeah, I, I'm not saying that's a quote, but that that was your... Sound like me. Yeah, that's what, that's what you... That's what encouraged you to tell these lies, right? <laughs> they yeah. did. Yeah. That's why when you told them that Jeffrey Williams went to the gas station and changed cars, it's not on the video because it's not true, right? I was trying to tell them anything to get them out for me. You were making it up. For that reason. I don't remember what I told them. Okay. We just listened to it. Remember you put your earphones in? Mm-hmm. That's what you told them. That's, that was not true, right? That's what I told the police. And the verification there should be, if you were telling the truth to the police, it should be then at the Texaco gas station, you see Jeffrey Williams changing cars. Yes, come on. He's doing it. Right? If you were going to be verified. Right? They didn't verify. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's talk about... This is why they've been delaying. This is why they've been delaying. Let's talk about you in the infinity at that gas station. Okay? Objection around assuming facts, I think that's sustained. I mean, I think we hadn't really heard the question yet. <laughs> if you were in that infinity at the gas station and had anything to do with the murder of Donovan Thomas, what did this district attorney Hilton tell you would happen to you? Oh my gosh. Assuming Here it comes. Assuming it's evidence and speculation. No, she, no. Why don't you not ask it as a compound question? If what did this tell the jury, what District Attorney Hilton told you on June 10th of 2015, if you admitted that you oh were involved gosh. in the killing of Donovan Thomas, tell them what she, uh, excuse me. Try that question. Ex parte. He's doing it. I just, I just got it. June 10th is the same exact yeah. date. Okay. June 10th, 2024. 24. I, yeah. I see it. It's ex parte. 2024. June 10th, a Monday. Have, have a meeting with, with your lawyer, Cook, Judge Glanville, oh District Attorney it. Hilton. He did it. Right. He's doing it. Yes. Oh my In this goodness. courthouse. In the jury chamber. Yes. yes. I wasn't there, right? Huh? I wasn't there. You wasn't where? In the judge's chambers with you, Miss Hilton, your lawyer, yeah. Judge Glanville. No. None of these, anybody here was there, right? It was just the people I mentioned and he's, security. He's a monster. He's a monster. Let's get to the actual question. He's a monster. What? Tell the jury what 
District Attorney Hilton told you would happen to you if you admitted in any way that you had anything to do with the murder of Donovan Thomas. Tell them. They gonna lock me up. So when you have this use immunity, oh my God, for anything you say, District Attorney Hilton told you, but you can't say that, right? Objection, Your Honor. Improper foundations must ask the question. That is testifying. I'm asking Mr. Copeland to tell the jury. Tell the jury your understanding of what Ms. Hilton told you if you admitted to being involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, even with use immunity, tell what the district attorney's office would do to you. Huh? Objection is compound. I don't think that was compound. Okay. If you admit the way you were told by Miss District Attorney Hilton, if you admit to being involved in the killing of Donovan Thomas, you get prosecuted for that, right? Objection is improper question is what was asked. You'll have him on redirect. <laughs> Ever ruled. Is that true? You. <laughs> she said, if I do that, I plead the fifth, I'm going to go to jail. Right. And when you say, if I do that or plead the fifth, if I admit to being involved in Donovan Thomas' murder, I go to jail, right? Huh? That's what she told you. That's what Miss Hilton told you. Am I correct? I didn't hear you. Okay. If you admit that you're involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, you get prosecuted. You go to jail, right? Two things that send me to jail. One is... If you admit to the murder of Donovan Thomas, let, let him involved. answer the question. If he's going to let us know what his understanding is, what is your understanding? Go ahead. Well, when I was talking to them, tell the truth. I don't recall. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mr. Copeland, if you were to admit that you're involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, do you go, go to jail? That's your understanding through District Attorney Hilton. Can I ask you a question? Let's take a recess. Oh, this is, oh my gosh. I talk my lawyer? Yes. Yes, you yes, need please. to talk to your lawyer. Brian Steele is, he knows that he's got this. Actually, you want to go ahead and step out. Yeah. Wow. I did not mm -hmm. see this coming. Yeah. I did not see this coming at all. Yo, today has gone totally in another direction. Wow. Shout out to Brian Steele. This has been I thought the end I thought the state ended on a flambe, but they ended up flaming out. Wow. Brian Steele is cooking. All right, unless anybody needs to put anything on the record, we're going to recess and let uh, Mr. Copeland have whatever time he needs to speak with his lawyer. Oh, no. Wow. Yo, that is a cliffhanger. Now, that is a cliffhanger that rhymes with banger. That was not. Wow. I, I don't know how long this, this is going to go, but if this is going to be. Now, 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 let me ask a question. Do you see why the state has been dragging their feet for two weeks? Can you imagine if Brian Steele had ended on this type of crescendo going into the break, the two, the, the week long break? It's over. Okay, I'm going to leave the screen up because I'm not 100% certain. She said recess, but the camera's still on. So maybe the, the uh, maybe they'll come back. Woody's going to go talk to his lawyer, but yo, this has been, uh, I didn't see this happening in the back room. Yeah, he was wrong on the 2015, but it was funny though, because it was the same date though. Yeah, the judge, I'm, I'm not feeling good about her, but man, this has gotten, this has definitely turned a corner. I, I did not see it turning like this. She sent up the SOS. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if somebody else is in there tomorrow. But it doesn't matter because this is now cross. 
So the best they can do is object, which is crazy given the fact that they let them declare him a hostile witness and let them have Adam for two weeks. Yeah, this is, yeah, y'all comments have been fire. Yeah, this has been, uh, I'm gonna hold on because it's still, the camera's still on. So I don't know if this, if this is gonna truly change or what. So I'm just gonna hold on tight real quick. Which, let him know that I'm such, no, let him know my outfit's iconic. Well, my daughter's icon, I, her, outfit is iconic. Camera. No. Is President Firstborn, everybody? Go away. No. Go finish eating. Bye, Trina. What are you doing? Eight hours. That's wild. You're wild, Trina. Go away. Yeah. All right. Your mom is, take, is coming, right? We're meeting you there. Un momento, por favor. All right, let's see. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to try to rescue this. I ain't going to even lie. All right, let's see. I think they're done, but I don't want to leave. It's like, I, I don't want to leave. She's still helping, but it was, it was hurting her. He just flambeed her. So, like, just think about it. Just think about it. Remember... Love spent, Hilton spent a lot of time saying, well, if you lie to the police, why did they do this, that, and the other? They saw these people at the gas station. You told them they're at the gas station. Well, Brian just used the same tape and said, you also said that Young Thug was there. Can you show me Young Thug? And he played through it. So that, that does cause doubt that the police were actually doing their job, the due diligence. And it bolsters the point that they, all they wanted was Young Thug. Yo, this is bad. I don't think he's allowed to, I don't know if he's allowed to leave because he's not, they're not a combative witness. I don't know, but I might be wrong. I could be wrong. And Monica will chime in for sure and tell me I'm wrong. Involved is a tricky word, right? I think all he's going to do, all he has to do is cast doubt that Woody put in the air that Woody somehow was associated with it. In my opinion. All right, so. Yeah, Woody's Woody is uh, attorneys catching his money today. Yeah, this is yeah. Oh, <laughs> now we recess. Yeah, now it's time to recess. Yeah, Michael. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. He cooking, cuzzo. He cooking. And that ex parte is coming. Because Brian still said he's going to ask about it. It doesn't matter. The judge could have said you can't use anything about it. He was going to get it in there. That was going to happen. She threw in the towel for the state. Yeah, she called a timeout for sure. For sure. Yeah, this thing is back on the rails. This thing is back on the proper rails.
Love is probably losing her mind. She's probably losing her whole mind. This is better than any soap opera. Better than any soap opera my grandmother used to watch when we were sick in elementary school. Better than any of them. Any of them. She's scared of what Woody's going to say. I mean, y'all been abusing a guy for two months. Now he's going if, to... If, sadly, she ended on such a... She had him all emotional when she passed him to Steele. And Brian Steele had given him time to get himself together and collect himself. I think it would have been even... I think it would have been better. Because he is flustered. So there's that as well. But now this is amazing. All right. So most people are saying that the state is... Uh, is winning 4% of you say that. What you mean, 24% of you all said that. But when I asked the question, which side do you think is winning um, after court today, 72% of you said the defense is collecting the W. This is amazing, man. This is a very different case than this morning. This morning, I did not see this coming like this. I did not. Yeah, hopefully Woody would just come in there and just tell as much truth as he can tell until we until we wear out. That that definitely woke up the jury. The jury is paying it. I can now I will say the jury's paying attention. She can find on the on the funny line. They gotta come back to dismiss the jury for the day. That's true. Yeah, for this to be a Monday, that is wild that this is a Monday. Because that means it's going to be, I mean, we, we got two more days. Apparently, they're off Thursday and Friday. So we got two more days of just outright fireworks. Because, uh, hey, what if, uh, yo, wow, thank you so much. And Doug dropping, dropping some love out there, giving people 10 memberships. My goodness, in the morning. Wow. Thank you so much, N. Doug. Y'all, do me a favor. We got to make sure we let N. Doug know. We appreciate it. So if you do get a membership, please tell N. Doug thank you. And don't just say thank you. Say thank you, N. Doug. Let her know we appreciate it. Wow, thank you so much for blessing the audience. And if you did get a membership, please jump on over to the community page because I have a question I would love for you to be a part of. Thank you so much for that, N. Doug. That's dope. Thank you for blessing them folks like that. There we go. The absolute best. Absolutely. Yeah, like make sure you throw her name in there. Thank you so much. Thank you, N Doug, for that. Appreciate you. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I am I am biased. I did think that the defense was already winning because I didn't think the state had a case. I don't think the state was actually, in my opinion, presenting a case that was winnable. So I did think they were win But let's just be honest. Brian Steele solidified it for us. And it's only been 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 minutes. That's crazy. Yo, thank you so much, N. Doug. Do you think the judge is trying to water the cross-examine down? It's possible. But sadly, I think what she's trying to do is trying to lessen because Brian Steele has been chomping at the bit. He has been chomping at the bit. I think that's why when you get when you see when he first came up there, his leg was dancing because I think he was anxious. Like, I can't wait. And now he's gotten back and he's gotten into a groove and he's not doing that. When he was at the Georgia Senate or Georgia Supreme Court, he was not anxious either. He was very relaxed, very poised. And you knew where he was going. He's walking down the street. I think the judge ultimately is trying to get this case to the finish line. That's all I think she's trying to do. Win, lose, or draw, um, hook a crook, beg, borrow, steal. She wants to get this carcass across the finish line. That's all I think she's trying to do. Hey, we're back. Let's go. Uh, do we know whether Mr. Copeland has um, finished consulting with his attorney? Can somebody step out and find that out for me? Thank you. Yeah. He has. Okay. I mean, I assumed, but. Wow. Thank y'all. And Doug, thank you so much.
I see his attorney. I don't see Mr. Copeland. We're ready for Mr. Copeland. Yeah, they're impeaching the state. They're impeaching the whole camp. Mr. Steele, am I correct in assuming that your cross is going to last more than 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, he's going uh, to be the whole rest of the estimate. I'm um, terrible, but I would estimate the day tomorrow. Okay. Do you, do you know a time stop? Because then I could try to get first a day. For today. So there actually is a juror issue oh. that I want to okay. all of us to deal with this afternoon. Um, so I may just, I mean, if you, I okay. we can go 15, 20 more minutes or we can just stop for today. I'm with you. I just didn't want to start something big and then. Yeah. So if you have something that's, you know, five more minutes before you move to the next topic, great. If you think this itself is going to last another 40 minutes, I may just say let's break and deal with our other issue. But you, I don't mean I don't know, so. I appreciate it. This will take a while, so okay. more than 10, 15 minutes. Okay. All right, let's get the jury out. Okay, so he's about to, she's about to send the jury home. I don't know why it says that message. I don't know what. Why are you whispering? All right. So there's a jury is a juror issue. There was a juror issue this morning as well. That's why they started late. So maybe, maybe they need to tap an alternate or something. I don't know. Yeah. The, inter the internet is on fire. I can only imagine. Uh, so, Greg, the state ended their case really getting wooden. Um, ladies and gentlemen, given that it is almost uh, five o'clock anyway, and I don't love stopping before five, but we have another matter to deal with anyway. I'm going to let um, you all go for the day. And, but let me remind you that we are our schedule is going to typically, unless you hear differently from me, be a 9 a.m. start time each morning. So please be here so that we can start on time at 9. And um, juror 387, if you could hang back for a minute. And the rest of y'all are excused, and I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm going to remind y'all, do not um, talk to anybody about this case. Let anybody talk to you about this case. Don't look at any kind of media, social media, any kind of accounts whatsoever about the case or about anybody involved in it. Um, and um, don't try to find out information from anybody or anybody, anybody or any place um, other than the confines of this courtroom. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Thank you. 387, if you can stick with us. You can go. We'll see you back at 9 a.m. as well. You have a nice day. What happened, Juror 87? What you do? What did Juror 87 do? All right, fess up. What'd you do, Juror 87? Whoever you are, what'd you do? All right, let's see. All right, and for the media, this part's going to concern kind of the juror's personal life, so I'm kind of done. Oh. We won't talk about Oh. Oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, they cut it off. They cut the feed. Steel was cooking like hot grease. Yeah, 6 p.m. is a myth. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to stay on for a few minutes because the feed has not cut off. So they might come back, I guess. Yo, that was crazy. I don't know if Steel qualifies as a friend. Because remember, Steel is ultimately, at the end of the day, Jeffrey Williams' attorney. And nobody is Steele's friend except Jeffrey Williams. So though they work together, they, they collab together. Oh, they cut it. Man. They cut the feed. Yeah, they cut the feed. So it's Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's over. Yo. Okay. All right. Real quick. What do y'all think about that? State was praying. They was praying for Hail Mary. They was like, look, give it, get us out of here. This is the, yo, they guaranteed tomorrow that tomorrow will be everything tomorrow. My goodness. In the morning. Yeah, that is a, I'm just double checking. Yeah, they cut, they've cut the feed, so it's done. But um, oh my goodness. They they are all over the place. So, real quick, just in it before we get out of here, what do you think about? First of all, did you think that the state was gonna get done today? Did you think that? Because I I again, my name is Jason. I did not think that was gonna happen. I did not think that was gonna happen. I, I, I did not see it coming. Monica, shout out to Monica. Monica said it. And I said, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I, I'm assuming it's something with whatever reason why they started late this morning. They said they were late because of a juror. And they're waiting. They had everybody except one. And I'm just wondering if this is the one that they were dealing with this morning. And maybe it's something, I don't know. Prayerfully is everything is okay um, and not something crazy, but um, what could the jury issue be? I I don't know. They said it's a personal issue, so it could be someone with their family. It could be, I have no idea. Maybe they saw them here in the live chat. Maybe it was somebody who's not in the live chat. Maybe it's somebody here in the live chat. They saw them here and now they're like, look, we saw you on Dear World Christian. We got to talk to you about this because you can't be a juror anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, prosecutors were they were scrambling in the scraping, boy. They was in trouble. Hey, sad to say, I probably would have sat right here till six thirty. Absolutely. The way this was going this morning, today, I would I was here for ninety more minutes of it. I was here for it. The ghost juror escape plan. <laughs> Get your popcorn ready tomorrow. Price of stock and of popcorn is going up because people are watching this trial. Yo, who saw that coming? The jury walking out. They said, we done with this. I'm finished. Yo, the D. Oh, my gosh. He was, he was cooking. Brian Steele came in hot like a firecracker and did not let up. That was amazing. I mean, just the, just the, how quickly he diced apart that entire narrative that Woody told the police the truth and they verified the truth off the bat. He said, look, look at the video. Do you see Jeffrey there? Didn't you say Jeffrey was there? Bada boom, bada bing. It's over. The jury, the jury is declaring a mistrial in their own name. In his name. Okay. I don't think they can do that. <laughs> okay, but I think the cross tomorrow is going to be off. He's going to take the whole time. He's going to take the whole week. Trust me. He's going he's to take the whole week. Um, since he got cut short today, he already said that was going to be more than 30 minutes. I mean, more than 15 minutes. So we already know that that's going to be a, a length of time. And then whatever he was going to do tomorrow... He's going to drag that out to 
through Wednesday. They're, they're going to end on hearing Brian Steele's voice or one of the other defense attorneys. Girl, let me, I'm going to tell you all right now. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead. and I got that video ready. I'm sorry, I got the, uh, the thumbnail ready for tomorrow. Let me just make sure it's live. And we, we might we might go crack a lacking at 840. We might just get it started at 840 tomorrow because it is going to be something else. So tomorrow is, what's today? Today is day what? Today, day 18. So tomorrow's day 19. I think I have my days wrong. I think I have my days wrong. I don't know why, what happened. Because today is day 18. Tomorrow is day 19. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to start. We, we might start at 840 tomorrow. Because it might be good. Let's see. Okay, so today... All right, so I'm getting that thumbnail ready for tomorrow for us. I appreciate y'all very much. Today was the 18th. Tomorrow is the 19th, right? Am I correct? Let me see. Y'all are wild. Yeah, let me text Sylvia real quick. <laughs> Why am I texting Sylvia? Okay, somebody wants me to rewind it. I was not, I already dropped the watch call though, but hold on one second. Tomorrow's the 19th. We got that. 119, sorry. Let's pull up the video and we'll just rewind it back a little bit. How far back are we rewinding it? Can you tell me what we're looking for real quick? I see you asked me to back it up, so I'm backing it up. And I want to make sure I'm backing it up to the right place. Okay. All right, let's get this done. What was the... Uh, I'm trying to see what was the question that y'all were trying to get. The problem is everybody's probably texting Sylvia right now. So I will reach out though. Last pan. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, do you think the judge is trying to water the cross examine down. It's possible, but sadly, I think what she's trying to do is trying to lessen because Brian still has been chomping at the bit. He has been chomping at the bit. I think that's why when you get, when you see when he first came up there, his leg was dancing because I think he was anxious. Like, I can't wait. And now he's gotten back and he's gotten into a groove and he's not doing that. When he was at the Georgia Senate or Georgia Supreme Court, he wasn't anxious either. He was very relaxed, very poised. And you knew where he was going. He's walking down the street. I think the judge ultimately is trying to get this case to the finish line. That's all I think she's trying to do. Win, lose, or draw. 
um, hook a crook, beg, borrow, steal. She wants to get this carcass across the finish line. That's all I think she's trying to do. Hey, we're back. Let's go. Let's uh, do we know whether Mr. Copeland is still alive? has um, finished consulting with his attorney. Can somebody step out and find that out for me? Thank you. Yeah. He has. Okay. I mean, I assumed, but. Wow, thank y'all. And Doug, thank you so much. I see his attorney, I don't see Mr. Copeland. We're ready for Mr. Copeland. Yeah, they're impeaching the state, they're impeaching the whole camp. Mr. Steele, am I correct in assuming that your cross is going to last more than 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, he's going uh, to be the whole rest of the estimate. I'm terrible but I would estimate the day tomorrow. Okay. Do you, do you know it, a time stop? Because then I could try to get- For today? For today. So there actually is a juror issue oh. that I want to okay. all of us to deal with this afternoon. Um, so I may just, I mean, if you- I understand. Okay. We can go. 15, 20 more minutes, or we can just stop for today. I'm with you. I just didn't want to start something big and then. Yeah. So if you have something that's, you know, five more minutes before you move to the next topic, great. If you think this itself is going to last another 40 minutes, I may just say, let's break and deal with our other issue. But you, I don't mean, I don't know. So I appreciate it. This will take a while. So okay. more than 10, 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Let's get the jury out. Okay, so he's about to she's about to send the jury home. I don't know why it says that message. I don't know what. Why are you whispering? Okay, I think you all wanted me to rewind it back to Woody and. Right, so there's a jury is a juror issue. There's a juror issue this morning Ryan's as well. Discussing. So let me just hear real quick what she so says. Maybe about the jury, and then we'll maybe we'll jump back. Tap an alternate or something. I don't know. Yeah, the inter the internet is on fire. I can only imagine. Uh, so, Greg, the state ended their case really getting woody. Um, ladies and gentlemen, given that it is almost uh, five o'clock anyway, and I don't love stopping before five, but we have another matter to deal with anyway. I'm going to let um, you all go for the day. And, but let me remind you that we are our schedule is going to typically, unless you hear differently from me, be a 9 a.m. start time each morning. So please be here so that we can start on time at 9. And um, juror 387, if you could hang back for a minute. And the rest of y'all are excused. And I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm going to remind y'all, do not um, talk to anybody about this case. Let anybody talk to you about this case. Don't look at any kind of media, social media, any kind of accounts whatsoever about the case or about anybody involved in it. Um, and um, don't try to find out information from anybody or anybody, anybody or any place um, other than the confines of this courtroom. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Thank you. Three to seven, if you can stick with us. You can go. We'll see you back at 9 a.m. as well. Yeah, have a nice day. Okay. Oh, man. What? What happened, Jury 87? What you do? What 
did juror 87 do? All right, fess up. What'd you do, juror 87? Whoever you are, what'd you do? All right, let's see. Yeah, definitely praying for that juror. All right, and for the media, this part's going to concern kind of the juror's personal life, so I'm kind of done. Too. We won't talk about it. Okay, so that was the end of that. Now, you all wanted to watch the the little bit of ex parte meeting conversation. Oh, man. Oh, they cut it off. They couldn't care. All right, real quick, let me find the ex parte. Sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is it? Here it is right here, I think. Let's Corvette. See. He had a rental. No. Uh, I didn't see this happening. In the back room. What did this district attorney Hilton, Detective Thorpe, homicide? Jurors, whether you saw okay. any <clears throat> reference or image of Jeffrey Williams during that entire clip that we just watched from January 10th, 2015 at the Texaco gas station. Like I told the state, I just told the police anything to get him out of my face. So did you see Jeffrey? Then nobody in here that watched the video didn't see him. I'm going to go with the court's permission. It's already in evidence, Your Honor, same exhibit number. It's the camera number 11, and there becomes an infinity vehicle, was purported to be an infinity vehicle pull up. Whatever, uh -oh. I heard what you said, so whatever vehicle you think it is, we will start at. Um, All right, so I'm going to move a little bit past there. At 11 19 16, if you need your. I guess that means that that could be stacked or run consecutive. Do you, do you not remember this? I don't remember the interviews. And you told them, I don't want to go to jail. I hate jail. Right? I do. Right. And you told them, I'll tell you anything you want to know. I just want to go home. Yeah, I'm not saying that's a quote, but that that was your. Sound like me. Yeah, that's what that's what you. That's what encouraged you to tell these lies. Right. <laughs> they did. Yeah. yeah. That's why when you told them that Jeffrey Williams went to the gas station and changed cars, it's not on the video because it's not true, right? Mm. I was trying to tell him anything to get them out for me. You were making it up. For that reason. I don't remember what I told him. Okay. We just listened to it. Remember you put your earphones in? Mm -hmm. That's what you told him. That's, that was not true, right? That's what I told the police. And the verification there should be, if you were telling the truth to the police, it should be then at the Texaco gas station, you see Jeffrey Williams changing cars. Yes, come on. He's doing it. Right? If you were going to be verified. Right? They didn't verify. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's talk about... This is why they've been delaying. This is why they've been delaying. Let's talk about you in the infinity at that gas station. Okay. Objection, I'm assuming facts. Sustained. I mean, I think we hadn't really heard the question yet. <laughs> if you were in that infinity at the gas station and had anything to do with the murder of Donovan Thomas, what did this district attorney Hilton tell you would happen to you? Oh my gosh. Here it comes. <laughs> No, she, no. Why don't you not ask it as a compound question? If what did this tell the jury, what District Attorney Hilton told you on June 10th of 2015, if you admitted that you oh were involved gosh. in the killing of Donovan Thomas, tell them what she, uh, excuse me. Try that question. Ex parte. Again. He's doing it. I just, I just got it. June 10th is the same exact yeah. date. Okay. June 10th, 2024. 24. I, yeah, I see it. It's ex parte. 2024. June tenth, a Monday. Have, have a meeting with your lawyer, Cook, Judge Glanville, oh District he Attorney Hilton. He did it. He's doing it. Yes. Oh my. In this courthouse. 
in the jury chamber? Yes. yes. I wasn't there, right? Huh? I wasn't there. You wasn't where? In the judge's chambers with you, Miss Hilton, your lawyer, yeah. Judge Glanville? No. None of these, anybody here was there, right? It was just the people I mentioned and he's, security. He's a monster. He's a monster. Let's get to the actual question. He's a monster. What? Tell the jury what District Attorney Hilton told you would happen to you if you admitted in any way that you had anything to do with the murder of Donovan Thomas. Tell them. They're going to lock me up. So when you have this use immunity. Oh, my God. For anything you say, District Attorney Hilton told you, but you can't say that, right? Mm. Objection, Your Honor. Improper foundation must ask the question. Ask. That is testifying. I'm asking Mr. Copeland to tell the jury. Tell the jury your understanding of what Ms. Hilton told you if you admitted to being involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, even with use immunity, tell what the district attorney's office would do to you. Huh? I don't think that was compound. Okay. If you admit the way you were told by Miss District Attorney Hilton, if you admit to being involved in the killing of Donovan Thomas, you get prosecuted for that, right? You'll have him on redirect. <laughs> Ever ruled. Is that true? You. <laughs> she said, if I do that, uh, plead the fifth, I'm going to go to jail. Right. And when you say, if I do that or plead the fifth, if I admit to being involved in Donovan Thomas' murder, I go to jail, right? Huh? That's what she told you. That's what Miss Hilton told you. Am I correct? I didn't hear you. Okay. If you admit that you're involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, you get prosecuted. You go to jail, Right. Two things that send me to jail. One is, if you admit to the murder of Donovan Thomas. Let, let him involved. answer the question if he's going to let us know what his understanding is. What is your understanding? Go ahead. Well, when I was talking to him. Tell the truth. I don't recall. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mr. Copeland, if you were to admit that you're involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, do you go, go to jail? Is that your understanding through District Attorney Hilton? Can I ask the judge a question? Let's take a recess. Oh, this is, oh my gosh. I talk to my lawyer? Yes. Yes, you need to talk to your lawyer. All right, so that was, Brian Steele is, he knows that he's got this, I just, you want to go ahead and go? step out. Yeah. Wow. I did not mm -hmm. see this coming. Yeah. I did not see this coming at all. Yo, today has gone totally in another direction. Wow. Shout out to Brian Steele. <clears throat> Yo, I did not expect today to go like this. This was not. Uh, as we like to joke in the mod, the mods and I joke like, hey, who had this on their bingo board? I might have to go back and recreate the entire bingo board now because who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Good gracious. I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming a mile away. But my goodness in the morning, it has been fun. And I'm glad we got to do this. So quarters in recess. Everybody, thank you all so much. I'm going to see you all tomorrow, Lord willing, at 8.45. But I might do a little bit earlier. So we might do 830. But um, let's get in here. Let's get popping again. Everybody, thank you so much. It's been a fantastic day. Thank you to everybody who's helped out with the Super Chats as well as the Cash Apps. I really appreciate it. I'll be sending you a thank you from there. Thank you. And Doug has definitely crushed it with 20 memberships. That means a lot. Thank you so much. But everybody from the Super Chats, the Super Stickers, the Cash Apps, the commenting and the liking, all of it means a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And, um, man, I'm going to see you all again, Lord willing, tomorrow. We're going to do this again. <laughs> it's going to be wild. But, everybody, I want to thank you again. Until next time, everybody, grace and peace. Take care. Yo.
hit that like for deal with Chris Jones. Yo, for deal with Chris Just smash that bell for the UPC. Yo, smash it. Just smash it. Hit that like for deal with Chris Jones. For deal with Chris Just smash that bell for the UPC. Yo, smash it. Just smash it. Hit that like for deal with Chris Jones.